Hi, I'm Eric Pratt from U.S. Broadcast Distribution. Today we're going to be talking about Densitron. Densitron is a manufacturer of extremely high quality tactile interfaces. What does that mean? Well, for example, we have a 4U touchscreen here. And in this case, we're using Densitron's 4U touchscreen to interface with their IDS subdivisions automation platform. And that's really going to be the main focus here, but I don't want to uh, undersell their tactile interfaces because Many people can use a 4U touchscreen. This is a regular touchscreen interface device that is plugged currently into a NUC, which is mounted to the backside of it. We could plug this into any computer interface and use it to talk to computers via touchscreen. Uh, any application where you'd want to have a rack mount displaying a computer where a touchscreen would be advisable would be an application for their products. And they have many more than just 4U touchscreens. There's a whole family of them. The focus here is going to be on IDS, a division of Densitron, which specializes in automation. We tend to talk about them as broadcast automation, but in reality, it's automating anything. Uh, hospitals, churches, conference rooms, um, and in, of course, TV studios uh, will be one of the ones that we're going to focus on. Because what we've done is when we say they can automate anything, that's really kind of a blank check. And in this case, we want to show some firm examples of the kinds of things that can be automated. So here we're going to go over automating vMix, some DMX lights, uh, a power um, unit, which is actually from Densitron, uh, and this light. So we're going to go through each of these elements individually and then show you how it's all tied together in their UI. So I've framed up the shot here so that we can see several different things at the same time. We've got the 4U touchscreen here, which is currently loading, uh, running the vMix interface. So you can kind of see part of vMix down here so that when we, we cut, you can see it down, down in the corner. And then we have a PTZ camera uh, just about here, uh, also one we're looking at. Uh, up here, we have a DMX light. We'll get to that in a minute. And then down here, we have a PoE uh, two colored, well, it's a multicolored light with two different lamps, and I'll get to that in a minute. Let's start with vMix. So this particular UI was, it's not fixed. It's This one is set up to control six different inputs, but the exact design we'll get to in a little bit. Actually, you can see um, the IDS UI design for this page uh, in, in preview here. Um, we can design it any way that we want. This one uh, we put together a way of controlling six different cameras and program and preview. We can cut between them. We can turn recording on and off. I don't want to turn recording off because we're currently recording. Um, we can do overlays uh, in any of the four channels. And basically, we can control vMix. And we get live NDI feeds from vMix for the program and preview. We also can control PTZ cameras. So we have two cameras, uh, this one here and this one there. So if we you know, wanted to pan or uh, give this one a second to come along, you know, adjust the PTZ camera. And then same thing for DMX lighting. Uh, we have three different fixtures in this UI. Uh, and you can see that we're able to control it over there. We could say turn the red component off or turn the green component off. Basically, we can control any DMX channel. Uh, and send whatever kind of uh, commands down that channel, just like a physical DMX controller, um, but integrated all into one UI with presets. Um, the other one that we can show is power control. Uh, it's hooked up to something called an IMDU, which is a Densitron product, and we can turn different elements of the power on and off so that we can turn off fixtures or computers, and essentially, we could walk in to a studio and hit a preset which would set vMix up to certain inputs, set PTZ cameras to certain positions, turn on DMX lights, turn on power strips, basically automate the whole thing. I figure it might be helpful to walk you through the project itself so you can see uh, what it looks like programmatically. And uh, this is the screen designer. This is one of the screens. I just wanted to show you that it's broken down into different components which are then assigned different commands and connections to drivers and, and so forth. Uh, there's also the logic builder. Um, this is where we design different components, like whether um, different of uh, different screen designer elements are visible. Um, so it's all fully customizable and designable. And then the macro builder is intimidatingly, um, initially at least, 
this gigantic workflow map. But actually, if we take a really close look at just one of the elements, you'll see that this is what's driving the, L the PoE powered light. So if this overlay channel in vMix is active and it's connected, then set the IDS TL2 lamp to yellow. And if it's recording, um, if you've noticed uh, earlier that the, the top lamp was purple, um, and it will always be purple while I'm recording. Uh, if it's connected and it's recording, then make the top one purple. So it's actually not that complicated. Um, it will, you know, take a little bit of uh, education to learn how to do this yourself. However, uh, Densitron does these projects as part of a, a, a bid. So if you're looking for a solution, they can spec out what exactly a project to automate a conference room or an entire facility or just a, a simple, you know, house of worship application. So you don't necessarily need to learn how to do all of this. Uh, I just find it very helpful to know how all of these things work together to create this automation workflow. And th that's how it's how it basically how it goes. Uh, connected devices shows the different um, devices that are connected. This is the for you. This is the IDS server. Uh, basically, the IDS core runs on a, hard, a piece of a computer. Uh, in this case, it is also a NUX. So both of these are, are essentially NUX. Um, this is a DMX module. I'll show you some more modules in a moment. And then this TL2 is the, the lamp. So we can see that the TL2 lamp is at 1.152. The DMX controller is at 1.153. The core is at 1.150. These are just locations uh, on your network for it to communicate with. So um, it will have a bit of a learning curve or none at all in case you want um, them to outsource it. I figured it'd be helpful to go through a couple of the different components that can be organized into different solutions. Uh, for example, as I mentioned, there's more than just a 4U. There's also a, uh, this is a 2U, this is a 1U half rack, this is a 1U full rack. This is a display processor for driving screens in a venue. For example, if we're putting together an auditorium, this is the remora component, which hangs off the back of the monitor. Uh, a remora is actually a fish that hangs off of a shark, so very cleverly named. And this is what helps drive uh, the monitors to show the different, um, like who's up next, uh, what is scheduled in this conference room, or what uh, we're seeing on the, the screen that I showed you. Uh, the autopod is another component that is for raising and lowering cameras, fully automatable. Here are a couple of exemplary um, turnkey solutions for, for example, a conference room or an auditorium, a house of worship, uh, a TV studio. I'll give you, uh, this is this is the conference room package. So we get the core software, a remora for driving the screen, um, a touch screen, a DMX interface, device drivers, and design services. And then it explains all the different components that are, are part of it. And then there's you know some great uh, downloadable examples. They have lots of really good use cases um, highlighting what people have done with this like what you're doing. So it, it, uh, use cases for me are infinitely helpable, uh, helpful. And uh, here's an auditorium timer package. Really very simple again, a remora, uh, touch screen, uh, design services. And then um, I wanted to go through a couple of the other, I had mentioned different um, components. So here's a server, here's another uh, smaller Remora, um, GPU IO, noise level, mo level monitor, IR controller, GPIO, uh, time code, DMX, NTP time services, um, the lamp, as I mentioned, uh, XML drivers, Grass Valley drivers, Vinton drivers, Barco, Imagine. Uh, there's all kinds of different interfaces, uh, Sony, Panasonic, Avid. These are drivers for talking to different, different components. But basically, we can work on this. This is just to give you an idea on a project by project basis. So for example, if something talks by UDP, there's a way to communicate two things via UDP, to send a, a, a UDP packet to communicate a very specific, uh, I don't know, JSON protocol um, or just generic XML. So there's a lot of different ways of interfacing with the existing hardware. It just really deserves a, a conversation in order to make sure that this all comes together for you. 
Hopefully I did a good enough job explaining that and you have at least some idea of what Vezitron's automation is capable of doing. As I said at the start, they really can automate just about anything. There's such a wide range of interfaces, uh, hardware controls, different things that they can communicate with which communicate with other things, really meaning it's an extremely extensible system. It's almost come up with an automation project and let us take a, take a swing at it. So if you have any more questions about Densitron, their amazing touch screens and other interfaces or IDS's automation, please feel free to reach out to us at usbroadcast.co. Once again, I'm Eric Pratt and thanks for watching. Thank you.